Hey, hello everybody. Hope everybody's doing good today. We're uh, back here for stream number two of the day on the Fisher Online. Figured this would be a, a fun game to stream, and I, I put up a poll a couple days ago actually, and literally out of like 1,600 people that voted, like 75% of you said that you would like to see a stream on this uh, game, so I figure let's uh, get into it. Hey, Whitetail Slayer coming in with the uh, membership renewal for eight months. Holy. Eight months a member. That is insane. That is crazy, dude. Thank you for that. Hey, Grayson. Hey, Lusky. Nice, Blitz. I think it just automatically puts you into uh, sessions with your friends. I'm pretty sure it puts you into sessions with people on your friends list. Because it's put me into your lobby every single time that I've played the last couple days. Yeah, it's crazy, Whitetail. It's been a long time. Nice, Blitz, working your way up there. Yeah, Alex. It is what it is. Thank you, Whitetail. I appreciate that. You want an argument over Flinter? <laughs> Holy. That's like a lifetime achievement right there. Alright, well. Let's uh, get to fishing. Trying to earn enough money to buy some better uh, fishing rods and reels. So, gonna be fishing for some bass today. Because they give some pretty good money. And then we're also going to uh, have the float rod out with some corn on it just to kind of get whatever we can find, really. Hey, Draven, how's it going, man? Glad you enjoy the content. And yeah, if you guys enjoy watching this stream, then I'll probably do some more of them on uh, Fisher Online. It'll all depend on uh, how much you guys enjoy it. There we go. Got a fish on already. That's not too bad. What is this one going to be? Probably going to be a bass. Ah, uh, yeah, it looks like a white bass from what I can tell. Kind of difficult to see, but I definitely think... Oh, no, that's a... That's actually a black bass, I think. So basically a large mouth. Yeah, that's a large mouth. Not too bad of a start. The Fisher Call of the Waters. <laughs> Pretty much, Johnny. Uh, the bass give you quite a bit. I think it's like 50 currency for that one that we just got. Uh, I think it's actually a little bit less, but I currently have VIP enabled, so... It gives me like an extra 25%, I think. But uh, I think at base it's like 35 or 40 for a bass like that. And uh, there's just a regular small mouth. Nothing too special. Oh yeah, for sure, Draven. I love fishing. Oh, you thought that was your rod for a second? Yeah, that could probably get kind of confusing. Alright, later, Zoic. Thank you for dropping in. Uh, no clue, Rick. I would imagine they'll probably do something like a mule deer or a moose as the next great one, but it's really hard to say. What's the biggest fish in the game? I don't remember. I'll have to look. Um, would it be in there? Records World, maybe? Hello? Can you load? Uh, let's see what type of fish we can find on here. Ah, uh, mirror carp goes up to 88 pounds. Ah, uh, we got a fish on. 
Uh, the fish will not get off, so we can just leave it. Farmed salmon, 91 pounds. Halibut at 291. I think halibut is the biggest, if I remember right. I think halibut are the biggest. Yeah, if I remember right, the halibut is the biggest, so they get clear up to almost 300 pounds, which is uh, pretty crazy. I can't wait till I unlock some of the saltwater fishing. That's going to be quite a bit of fun. Little five pound black bass. Oh yeah, for sure, Blitz. That's always uh, one of the best things to work up to, especially for like earning money. That's what I've done. I've kind of just been uh, farming these bass. And every time I have enough money to purchase a new rod and reel, like a better one, uh, what I typically do is I'll sell my worst one and then replace it with a brand new one that is uh, much better. That's the way I've been doing it at least. Nice, Hunter Wilson. That's awesome, dude. Congratulations. Nice, Lightning. Hey, hello. How's it going? How have you been? Hopefully you've been doing good. Nice, Ethan. I always really like the real fishing games. I have not played one in quite a while, but I remember real fishing too was a really awesome game way ahead of its time i believe it's only on the playstation one but it was one of the best fishing games i've ever played i really miss that game real fishing 2 and then also real fishing 3 wasn't too bad either honestly hollow i like this game a lot better than fishing planet um it definitely feels it doesn't feel like impossible to level up quickly and it's a lot more fun uh, it's not pay to win or anything like that either, which is great. I definitely am liking this a lot better. It, it almost feels like the perfect combination between Fishing Planet and Russian Fishing 4, but without the pay to win aspect of Russian Fishing 4. You got a 10 pound eel? Nice, Blitz. I think my biggest eel is like 12 pounds. They get pretty big, and they actually give a decent amount of money. Uh, I definitely would recommend freezing them in the boat, though. Uh, because otherwise, they take up quite a bit of weight in your uh, net. Uh, and yeah, if you didn't know, Blitz, you can uh, put, I think, 10 fish in this little freezer right here. And it doesn't matter the weight. It's just you put 10 in there. Uh, once you put them in, you can't take them out until you sell them. Holy, 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 it's David. 18 months jeez! Thank you for the membership renewal David. You're getting so close to being able to have that uh, rainbow one So close to the two-year badge Pay to win my ligma <laughs> Yep, that's a David quote right there How you been man? I heard that you got the old Roni too Hopefully you recovered from it quickly. It took us like two weeks to recover. Hopefully it uh, wasn't quite as bad for you. That was a decent little bass. And David with a super chat coming through. Pay to win my Ligma fish. <laughs> we are gonna Ligma fish. I guess. But thank you, David. Holy. Maybe I should uh, stream fishing games more often so David drops in. I right, later, Big Rack Hunters. Thank you for watching, man. Oh, yeah. Fishing Planet is a... Um, I don't know. It's a very grindy game if you don't uh, purchase stuff. That was my biggest gripe with Fishing Planet is that I had to fish so much for things that I did not care to fish for just in order to keep like, uh, just in order to make my money back. I like, I don't want to spend hours at a location I don't enjoy fishing just so that I can earn enough money to continue fishing. 
Like, that was the big thing for me with Fishing Planet. I always felt like I was fishing at locations I didn't want to fish at just because it was better money. And any time that I uh, wanted to, that I was actually able to do the fishing that I wanted to do, it didn't, it just doesn't earn as much money. So I, j I just don't like the, uh, the way Fishing Planet is. But this game so far has been really good. Why, what happened, Blitz? I typically don't do that, Grayson, just because if I play with one person, then everybody is going to be wanting me to play with them. So, typically, the only time that I play with viewers is whenever I join random multiplayer sessions, but anytime I'm playing multiplayer on stream, feel free to join the same servers that I join. I don't mind it when people do that as long as you uh, don't hunt right next to me, you know? But yeah, I tend to not do one-on-one -on -one hunts because otherwise everybody else is going to be asking me to do the same thing. Have you shot any diamond largemouth bass? No, but we did get a, a pretty decent largemouth right, uh, let's see, right there. Not too bad. David with another super chat. Holy. Buying Girl Scout cookies. I'm good. I beat the Rona because I'm a big male. The Alpha, the Omega buck. No one can take me down. Nice, David. Glad that you recovered from it. That stuff is rough. Like, it, it hit us hard. Easily the worst thing I've ever had. And, like, I've had some pretty bad viruses in the past, but this was just, like, brutal. Oh my gosh, that's a chunky catfish. What's up, little dude? 11 pound channel cat. That is one that we're going to freeze because it is very heavy. Oh, you can't find the freezer? I mean, for me, you just walk to the front and it's right there. Ah, uh, Luke, thank you for renewing your membership for two months. Holy. Second month in. Thank you, my dude. Uh, we might do Red Dead at some point. I guess it really depends on how many people actually want to see me play it. Yeah, it's rough, James. It's definitely rough. One of the biggest things is just staying hydrated. Staying hydrated and staying rested. I don't think there's a trophy lodge, no. Got the clap once, then it went away the next day. Nice, David. Glad you fared better than we did. Finally made it back to a stream to start the second semester of college, so I've been pretty busy, but glad I can make it. Nice, AJ. Glad you can make it back to a stream, man. It looks like the bite's slowing down a little bit, not really getting any action. See a level 3 turkey and it's albino? Oh my gosh, Mystic, get that thing down. Hi later, Whitetail Slayer. Thank you for watching, man. Thanks, Luke. I'm glad you enjoy it. Tried out Russian Fishing 4 last night. And a chub nearly broke. Yeah, it's, um... Russian Fishing 4 is a... It's it's a good game. Don't get me wrong. But the progression is so slow. It's one of those games where, like, it's such slow progression that it makes you feel like you have to purchase things in order to just make any progress. That was the thing I didn't like about it. I like the whole, like, uh, actual fishing system. I think the game itself is really good. It's just their progression is terrible. Uh, let's recast. I think that might help us out here. We'll move it over to the left a little bit more. See if we can uh, get something to happen now. Cast this one out slightly farther. And I think I'm going to switch up this setup a little bit. Let's go to... Size 2 hook with shiners. Just use this as another uh, bass rod. I need to buy a third feeder rod.
I've actually done stuff with uh, Flinter and Didi before. I uh, haven't done stuff with KG. Personally, I don't think uh, mine and his content really uh, are that similar, so I don't think it would mesh too well in a video. Because we have very different styles of playing. 4.7, holy mystic. That's crazy, dude. Thank you, Draven. I appreciate that, man. Thank you for watching. Would love an Amazon Rainforest Call of the Wild map. That would be pretty cool. Why is it hard to find diamonds in Call of the Wild? A lot of it comes down to just learning, uh, learning the habits of all the different animals, uh, learning their need zone times and stuff like that, all the locations that they drink. That's one of the biggest steps towards uh, getting more diamonds, is just learning a lot about the game. I'm probably not going to be doing Tarkov tonight, and honestly, we're probably only going to stream for like an hour, maybe an hour and a half here on Fisher Online. I got started a lot later than what I wanted to because I uh, had to go shopping and get some groceries. I was planning to start at 7, but I had to start at 8 because of uh, the fact that we were shopping. Yeah, pretty much, Johnny. I'm doing good, Kramer. Doing pretty good. The bite has slowed down so much, though. <laughs> nice, Blake. That's awesome, man. Uh, yes, Logan. They will still respawn. A Call of the Wild can be played completely offline. I'm 23, Baseball. Yesterday, I got my first diamond, or first animal in Mississippi. It was a gray, gray fox. Nice, dude. The gray fox are probably one of my favorite species off of Mississippi. They are absolutely beautiful. Nice, Nathaniel. I mean, everybody's got their own ways of making the game uh, enjoyable. That's one of the beauties about Call of the Wild. You can play it just however you enjoy the most. It's always been one of the one of the reasons why I like Call of the Wild more than Classic. Call of the Wild gives you a lot more options to keep yourself entertained. Classic's more for the people that want a, an actual simulation. That is a tiny channel cat. To be honest, that's probably not even worth keeping, because it's not going to give nearly as much money as a bass the same size, but I'll keep it anyway. Yeah, pretty much, Johnny. Red Fox are just brutal to grind. I right, later, James. Thank you for watching, man. Hopefully you have a good sleep. Have you ever got a big black bass in this game? I think the best black bass that I've had was, I think like f six pounds. Let me see. I think it actually, I think I can actually check. Uh, let's see. Is it in records? No, that would not be it. Um, fish on lake. Uh, let's see. My personal best is six pounds, 13 ounces. That's the best one I've been able to find. I don't think I've found a trophy one yet. I did, however, get just an absolutely massive, uh, massive white bass. I got an absolutely huge one. Let's see if we can find it. There it is. White bass. Eight pounds, two ounces. That is, like, extremely large. I think it's actually one of the top ones, if I'm not mistaken. Let, let's see. So the record that has been caught is 9 pounds 9 ounces, and mine is 8 pounds 2 ounces, so yeah, I'm pretty close to the record. That's been my best fish so far. And I think it gave like 70 credits, which is pretty good. There's a bass. 5 pounds, 15 ounces. That's a good one. That'll sell decent. Let's 
What's my favorite DLC in Call of the Wild? Uh, probably, if you're counting maps as well, probably, probably Mississippi Acres. If it's just a other DLC, then I would have to say probably the Tripod DLC. I get the most use out of that one. Uh, this is the Fisher Online, DeAndre. I'm doing much better, Tracy. Feeling almost 100% now. Still got the slightly uh, stuffy sounding voice. But uh, other than that, I'm doing great. Now let's go ahead and freeze a couple of these heavier bass. What's my favorite map in Call of the Wild? I would say probably Mississippi Acres with Silver Ridge Peaks and Tiawaroa in the second and third place. I'm sorry to hear that, Tracy. Just stay hydrated, stay well rested. That's uh, two of the best things that you can do for it. I've actually got a full guide on that uh, Maddox that will cover literally everything to do with how I grind on a Rancho. That should help you out quite a bit. It uh, shows the methods that I used to get my uh, last great one, actually. I believe I titled it How I Grind the Great One on Rancho Del Arroyo. I'm pretty sure that's what the title of the video was. Come on. We're gonna get any big males? There we go. Ask and you will receive, I guess. Watch this be just like an absolute giant. Knowing my luck, it'll probably be a very small catfish. Oh, how did I know? Very small catfish. Uh, to be honest, you're not even worth enough money to keep. Ah, uh, no R&D. I don't think they will. They mentioned that the biggest issue that they would run into trying to do something like that is the fact that SRP already has a lot of animals. If they add something like Whitetail, it would overcrowd the map. Well, in uh, this game, Grayson, a lot of the bass stick to near the lily pads. Which is uh, why I'm fishing here, because I'm just targeting the uh, the black bass, the white bass, and the smallmouth bass. And the best places to get them are near uh, reeds and lily pads. And along some of the banks. Thank you, Maddox. I appreciate that. Glad you enjoy the videos, James. Hey, Lone Wolf, how's it going, man? Uh, I don't think it's like Fishing Sim, really. This game honestly feels more like a cross between Russian Fishing 4 and Fishing Planet. Except with a much better progression system. Thank you, Baseball. Pheasants to SRP could maybe work? I mean, maybe, because they are smaller. And there's not as many of them on a map. I could see that maybe working. Next fish will be a largemouth bass? Maybe. That uh, definitely sounds plausible. Turning my light on because it's getting a little bit dark. Gonna be getting very dark soon. Nothing's going for the one on the float. I've noticed that the bass really don't bite on uh, floats too much. 
What's my biggest fish in in the game? I think my biggest one that I've got was a 12 pound eel. I think it should show it somewhere in here. Oh no, it was a 22 pound northern pike. That was my biggest fish. Um, I'm not sure, uh, Lone Wolf. I, I'm not really too familiar with Fishing Sim. Unless you're talking about Ultimate Fishing Simulator. But the rod setup seems pretty... It, it seems pretty easy to me in this. You just hit I for inventory, and then you can set up your rods here. You just put, like, all the different things on them. And then, uh, you just hit the corresponding number to take it out. And then you can just like hover over the uh, rod holders in the boat and press Y to put it in the rod holder. Wait, what was that? Was that another chunky catfish? I swear, if it's another catfish. Ah, it's another catfish. You guys are worth like nothing. <laughs> Where's the bass? That's what we're looking for. They're worth way more. Oh, it's a blue cat. That's actually not bad. Blue cats are better. That gets a lot of XP, too. Holy. You know what? I'll keep that, actually. I take it back. That's actually not a bad one. Just go ahead and freeze that. Oh, not Fishing Sim, Fishing Planet. I I'd say it's better than Fishing Planet, for sure. Uh, this game is Fisher Online, uh, John. Hey, Caitlin, how's it going? Good to see ya. Also, we've got 70 people in here at 8.40 p.m. at night watching me play a fishing game. Thank you guys for that. Really appreciate it. It's, uh, nice that I can actually play some other games sometimes and you guys still enjoy it. That's awesome to see. Because in the past, I've had trouble where I wasn't really able to stream too much that wasn't uh, Call of the Wild. But it's good to see that you guys are enjoying this. Nice, Caitlin. I've been doing pretty well. I've been doing a lot better the last couple days. This is actually a decent fish here. This is a decent bass. Please be a white bass. I can't really tell. Once it gets a little bit closer to the surface, I can kind of see the coloration and that'll help me determine. I think that's a white bass though. Or a smallmouth. It actually might be a smallie. Yeah, I think that's smallmouth color. Yeah, it's a smallie. Or is that... It might be... No, it's got to be a smallie. That's a big one though. That is a big smallmouth. Look at that thing go. Trying to get it close so that I can grab it. Okay, I might need to net this one, actually. This might be big enough that I need to net it. Whoa, little dude. Alright, gotta put the net away. Yeah, this is a nice fish. There we go, four pound smallmouth. Not bad. Not a bad one. A little bit smaller than what I thought it would be, but still a good fish. Nice. Blitz, I actually haven't gone for tr uh, brown trout yet. I would like to take on some trout, though, and kind of see how the uh, payout is for them, though. Eleven o'clock, nine forty. Jeez, it's late for some of you guys. Anything good yet? Yeah, we've got a couple really decent fish. We got a couple uh, nice uh, largemouth. We got a uh, decent blue catfish and a channel cat. I think the best thing we've got so far is this a uh, four-pound, nine-ounce smallie, or the five-fifteen uh, large black bass. Ooh, ooh, we got something. 
There we go. Now that it's hitting evening time, the bite is starting to uh, be a little bit better. What do we got here? Whatever it is, it's pulling pretty hard. Because I can't get my uh, rod to go up while I'm reeling. Oh, that's a white bass. That's a good one, too. Four pound large white bass. Nice. That's what we're looking for. Because uh, those give probably the best for their weight. Another one. Just fish, fish after fish right now. I'm pretty sure that fish are online as PC only as far as I could tell. I'm pretty sure it's only on Steam. Nice, James. Come on, little dude. Which one are you? Is that another white bass? It looks like it. From what I can see, that looks like a white bass. No? No, that is definitely a black bass, actually. Yep, 6 pounds, 10 ounces. That's my personal best, I think. I think that's actually my personal best largemouth. Not bad. Not bad at all, guys. We've already got a couple really nice fish today. Oh yeah, for sure, Blitz. Yeah, I've tried ultimate fishing. It's not too bad. Definitely not my favorite uh, fishing game, but it's not too bad. I'm I'm excited for ultimate fishing too, though. I think that game's gonna be pretty good. Well, I should probably bring that back out there. And also, I should check to see if there's any quests I can accept. Uh. Oh, there we go. That's a good one. Uh, what else? I don't really feel like chasing Rainbow Smelt or Sauger. Yeah, we'll just wait for these to refresh for the rest, but that Black Bass one, that's going to be a pretty good one. We just need to catch nine pounds of them. So that's literally like two fish. Easy XP. Yeah, there's definitely similarities, uh, Jessica. We both have uh, similar ways that we enjoy playing the game. Yeah, Samuel, I do fish in real life. I actually fish way more than I hunt in real life. Oh. There we go. Another fish on. That is a much smaller one, but that is a black bass. Five pounds, 11 ounces. That's actually not bad. Take that for the quest. Now we just need one more about the same size and we'll have that quest completed. Uh, there is no max score for Rocky Elk in Call of the Wild. But a big one is anything above 510. I think the highest I've seen was like 515. Oh, nice, Hollow. House, House Flipper's a fun game. Nice, Maddox. Yeah, that was probably one of the most insane uh, multiplayer finds I've ever had. I'd say that's definitely my favorite multiplayer find I've had. It isn't The Sims 4, though. <laughs> Is everything about The Sims for you, Ka uh, Caitlin? It's always the Sims. Does Sims have fishing though? That's the question. Yeah, for sure, Blitz. This game's got a good design. I like it. Definitely had more fun in this than I've had in any other fishing game. Oh, it does? <laughs> Holy. Nice, Tyler. 
biggest IRL fish I caught last year? Uh, last year, I think I only went out for rainbow trout, so probably like 13 or 14 inch rainbow trout. My biggest fish ever, though, was a 42 pound Chinook salmon. That's the biggest one I've ever caught. It was a big old 42 pound hen. And mission complete. See what else we can accept now. Ah, uh, looks like we'll probably have to wait. Another one, holy. And they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. That is another black bass. Wow. Getting lots of them now. What does this mean? I'm trying to figure out like what this means. Is this like, does that mean it's like a tagged fish or something? I'm trying to figure out what the whole sign thing means. Cause I've seen a few fish that have this, but it's not all of them. Just seen a few of them that have this. Interesting. Nice, Yandre, that's awesome. I've never really had the opportunity to go for uh, catfish. Uh, to be honest, Oregon doesn't have a lot of good catfish fishing near me, at least. I really wish we had stuff like... Ooh, hold on. I really wish we had stuff like musky and a uh, pike, but unfortunately, Oregon doesn't have any of those fish. We've got a lot of salmon and trout species, though. Yeah, there's no offline mode as far as I know, Hollow. I, I think that's because they have a bunch of stuff like leaderboards and tournaments and record books and stuff like that. They have a lot of online features that wouldn't work if you were offline. Come on. I'm closer so I can grab you. There we go. Five pounds, six ounces. Not bad. That's the first one on the float rod. Really, Johnny? That's amazing. That's hilarious. Uh, K Buffalo max score is 162.50. Sadly, never got a buck, uh, video games and outdoors. I went out for black tail deer three different years, and I got really close a couple of those years, but just could not seal the deal because I didn't get a clear shot on the buck that I was looking at. The first year, I had a chance at a really big buck. Would have easily been a 4x4 four four at the minimum, just based off of the size of the track. Because its tracks just dwarfed all the other tracks in the area. It was crazy. But, uh, unfortunately, we got, like, halfway to tracking it. We heard it bounding off. And, uh, I reached down to my pocket to check for my wallet, because that's where I kept my tag. And uh, I reached down and I didn't have my wallet, so we had to go home. I still just don't forgive myself for that, because that was probably like the buck of a lifetime. And because I forgot my tag, I wasn't able to chase after it. And then I heard the next year that somebody killed a 4x5 blacktail deer from that area. Would have been such a good buck to get. And then the second opportunity I had was on a nice little 3x3. Three three. It was about 300 yards uh, downhill in a clear cut. And I just could not find a place to get steady. Another eel, jeez. These eels are just everywhere. Another 5 pound eel. Okay, let's go ahead and freeze that one. This has to be some kind of tagged fish, like... 
I don't know what else that could mean because this one has like a special pink uh, star on it instead. It's got to be something special. That'll be the same time as always, James. 12 p.m. PST. Yeah, for sure, Johnny. For sure. We probably will within the next couple years. I need to get a new rifle first because I'd like to get either a 308 or a 7 mil. I would really like to get a uh, 7 mil. Hey, Sean, how's it going? This is Fisher Online. Got an albino lion and deleted it out of my lodge on accident. Oh, that sucks, man. I've accidentally deleted a couple trophies out of mine when I was uh, trying to delete other things. There's a bug where sometimes it will delete like an animal below the one that you're trying to delete. I don't know if they've fixed that yet, but I know it used to be a thing. I, I think it might be fixed now. Wow, what is this right here? Is that just a giant catfish? I think that's just a big catfish. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's a chunky catfish. Look at that line tension. We net it already? So close. Yeah, we're gonna have to reel it in more. That's a big catfish right there. Holy. Hey, Sam, how's it going, man? Wow, this thing is huge. This is probably gonna be my biggest channel cat. Ah, it's just out of reach. We got another fish on too. Got one on the float rod. Oh, we got two fish on. No. Oh, the timing. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get that yet. So many fish. Ah. Oh my gosh. Well, the float rod one's probably going to get away. Uh, this one will sh should stay on regardless, but this is a huge fish. This is an absolute giant catfish. Easily the biggest one I've had. There we go. 12 pounds. Oh my gosh. Not quite as big as I thought it would be, but that's still a big one. Let's get this one first since the float rod is the weakest rod. I know, right, Johnny? Three fish on at once. Luckily, a lot of times when you uh, hook a fish on the boat like this, where the rod, uh, with the rod holders, a lot of times they just will stay on there, so you don't have to worry about them getting away. At least uh, from my experience, that seems to be the case. Come on, little guy. Am I going to have to net you just because you're being stubborn? There we go. Six pound black bass. And for the third one. I swear if it's another catfish, it's an eel. Honestly, not exactly happy about that either, but I mean, on the bright side, this actually seems like a pretty big eel. This actually looks like a big eel. Yeah, this might actually be a really big one. Yeah, 11 pounds. That's a good eel. I think my personal best is 12 pounds, but this is a good one. That actually should sell pretty decent. Uh, we'll freeze it, though, because that's a heavy fish. Same with the catfish. I always save the uh, freezer space for the heavy ones because it does not uh, have a weight limit for the boat. So I always put the heaviest ones in there. What caliber rifle do I have IRL? Right now I've got a 270. Uh, it's a Marlin XL7. 
I also have a, um, I believe it's a Mossberg 530. I don't remember which model, but I think it's a 530, uh, 12 gauge with, I believe a 28 inch barrel. And then I've also got a Winchester model 6322 and a Springfield XDM nine handgun. And then I've got a Diamondback DB 15 rifle as well in 223 slash 556. Too many fish at once? I know, right? So many on at once. Nice, Blitz. That's actually a pretty good sized fish. How's the recoil on the shotgun? Uh, it depends on the load you're using. Uh, turkey loads, it kicks like crazy. Couple shots from that and you'll have a bruised shoulder. But uh, with just normal like grouse and like grouse size loads, it's uh, it's not too bad. It's got a decent pad on it. But man, those turkey loads, you unload a full tube of those and whew, you're going to be hurting. Uh, this game is Fisher Online. Yes, one e Technically, I do have four because of that bugged one. Still upset about that bugged one. You should buy some slugs. Oh, gosh. Maybe. Thank you, James. What's my favorite whitetail great one? So, my favorite whitetail great one is actually a pretty difficult rack to get. I've only seen a few people get it, but it looks kind of like a typical buck but with a few extra tines. That's probably my favorite. And then I also like the drop tine buck a lot as well. Nice, DeAndre. Thank you, Bassin. I'm glad you enjoy the videos. Hey, Cohen, how's it going, man? Yeah, we're on a new game. I've been playing this game the last few days. I think I've sunk like 17 hours into it in four days. I've been like addicted to this game recently. It's a lot of fun. I think it's probably my favorite fishing game as of now. I think they will eventually, Ethan. They do plan to do non-typicals with uh, drop tines and stuff eventually. From what I remember, they said that after they give uh, true racks to all animals currently in the game, then they will uh, focus on doing stuff like non-typicals, drop tines, stickers, that type of stuff. Yeah, pretty much, Johnny. It is a little bit unfortunate that you got the most common rack, but uh, to be honest, that's kind of what I expected was that you would probably get the cluster rack because it is the most common one from what I've seen. At least you got one, though. At least you do have a great one so you can put that grind to rest. Yeah, this is definitely a catfish. I can always tell when it's a catfish because they just come straight to the boat. The bass always start swimming to the left around me. Uh, same with the eels, but the catfish, they always just go straight in for some reason. I mean, it's another chunky catfish, but not exactly what we're looking for. Honestly, this might be bigger than the last one even. Which one is that, Johnny? I'm trying to remember. What is the bull rack? Are you talking about the really, like, short-tined one that uh, Mel got? I kind of like that one, to be honest. Just because it's different. Or are you talking about uh, the Kinsko one? Hey, Giant Carlo. Good to see you, dude. 
How do you sell the fish that are froze? Uh, you just drive the boat up to the dock and then press R. And it'll open up the, the boat's inventory and then you can sell everything. As far as I know, that's the only way to do it. Wow, this is a really big catfish. This is the hardest fighting catfish I've had. It's not even getting close to the boat. But they're such sluggish fighters that they really don't ever have a chance to get away. Okay, definitely not going to be able to net it yet. Ah, there's another one on. Come on. Come on, big boy. There we go. Oh, wow. It's a large channel catfish. 13 pounds. That is the first large channel cat I've had. That is awesome. That's a good fish. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Let's see what we got here. This is definitely an eel. Yep, that's an eel. Where's all the bass? We're getting lots of catfish and eel. I mean, we're getting some good ones, so I can't complain, but... Not exactly the best uh, money per pound ratio. But I guess at the very least we're getting some good ones, so that's nice. That's a large eel. 10 pounds. Let's uh, freeze the channel cat and freeze the eel. Do I have every diamond in Call of the Wild? Not all of them. There's a few I'm missing. Uh, stuff like the lynx and the javelina. Oh, I see an eel biting that. Another eel on. I saw that eel just like tugging at the shiner. That was kind of cool. We actually got to see it going for it. Yeah, Cohen, as far as I know, it's only PC. As far as I can tell, you can only get it through Steam. Oh, the one that Mel got. Gotcha. I kind of like that one. Uh, to be honest, I like all of the Great One racks for the Whitetail, but... I don't know. I think that one's like a... It's like... It's like so weird and ugly that it's good. That's kind of how I see that one. I won't be live tomorrow, no. Tomorrow I'm gonna take the day to record a few videos. I'm gonna try and get back on my schedule of recording on Saturdays and Wednesdays and then streaming all the other days. Another large eel. Wow. Alright, so we are full in there. Which means anything else we catch will go straight into our keep net. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the great ones that I have. Which great one was easier? Um, I don't know. It's hard to say. I mean, it took me 3,000 kills to get my red deer. I'd say the whitetail was a little bit easier, mainly because Rancho Del Arroyo is uh, just super easy for whitetail. Can you try some lure fishing? I really don't have any right now that are good. Uh, most of the lures that I have are not uh, great for this location. I'd have to go purchase some before I could do that. Later, James. Oh, you didn't blitz? I haven't even been using leaders for my rods. That would be crazy, Maddox. 
I would love to get a, a rare fur type great one. That would be kind of crazy. I don't really foresee it happening anytime soon though. Thanks, Sean, and uh, thank you for watching the stream. Uh, the Great One Reindeer thing was a bug. It wasn't actually supposed to happen. What it was was a regular reindeer, and it just, for some reason, had the Great One uh, logo or whatever. Uh, that got fixed a long time ago, though. Because it was not intended. Come on. Am I going to have to recast? Also, let's see what we got going here. So, we got a decent amount of fish in here. And then we got our ten in here. You know what? I think let's go ahead and uh, just go sell our fish. Uh, we might have enough to purchase one of the rods that I want to get. We'll see. We'll see if I've got enough to purchase one of the feeder rods that I was looking at. I want to get a really heavy feeder rod. Because we've already got like 2k credits. And I think we probably should have like 1k credits worth of fish right now. Has anyone got a rare great one? Uh, yes. LC got an albino great one, but then it changed to a common once they put through the patch to fix the like uh, older fur types that were bugged out nice Hannah that's awesome I uh, know it's not free giant Carlo I think it's pretty cheap though I think it's like 15 bucks and it goes on sale pretty much any time that steam has a sale All right, here we go. Oh, I guess I should probably sell the ones in the boat. All right, so basically this is just how you do it, Blitz. I don't know if you already sold yours. But uh, you just press up against the dock like this and then hit R to sell fish. And uh, there they are. Oh my gosh. Oh, I forgot this doesn't uh, sh this doesn't show like a single fish. It lumps them all together. So we got 381 credits worth of fish in here. Now let's go sell the ones in our keep net. Should probably give us about the same. Yeah, 336. That gets us up to 2868. Yeah, it's not actually an 18-pound bass. I think that was three different bass. Uh, let's get 20 or 30 shiners, I guess. I was just going to get 20, but I bought 30 instead. And then let's go purchase a new rod. I did indeed just sell to a shady van. Yeah, I've played the Far Cry games. I think Far Cry 5 is probably my favorite. Okay, let's see what rods we have here. I have not checked the uh, stock at this location, so let's see if they've got anything good. Okay, they, they don't actually sell feeder rods here. So I'm not going to be able to get a feeder rod here. I'll have to go to the other location. We're going to have to go to this one. Nice, Hollow. Yeah, it's a really fun game. I think this is probably the best fishing game out there. And it's honestly got a really large variety of fish and locations. I mean, you guys can see just the amount of locations it's got. It's got like, what? 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 locations that come with the game, and then two DLC locations. That's honestly pretty crazy. Alright, let's see. Feeder rods. I was looking at this one right here, the Carp Hunter 2. This one is a 55 pound rod. I'm thinking this is the one to get. We'll do that, and then I also want to get a new reel. So, that is just slightly out of our budget. Let's see what we can sell. Can probably sell this. Yeah, let's sell the float rod. And we'll uh, sell this reel. Okay, I think that's all we can sell. Uh, that does give us enough though. We will be able to buy this reel now. 39 pounds with 35 pound uh, power. Let's actually just make sure that's the best one. Yeah, it's going to be the best one to get. Get that purchased and also I think some line as well. Yeah, we'll get some more uh, 33 pound line. All right. Let's uh, break down all this. Move that. Let's actually remove everything so we can build these uh, from the ground up. Uh, we want the weakest rod there. I usually keep them in order from like weakest to strongest. This is the new strongest rod we have. So we want to make sure we put the strongest reel on it. And uh, strongest line, which is the 33. Uh, let's drop on a size 2 hook. Some shiners. Uh, we'll drop a signal on there, even though I don't think it's going to do anything. Uh, we'll put our weight on there. So that should be good. Now the second best setup. And for the last one, I believe that's probably the reel to go with. Uh, is that... Wait, what does that mean? What does that mean right there? I have no clue what that means. Oh, that's the weight. Hmm, okay, so we're gonna need to get a lighter, uh... A lighter weight. Uh, where is it? I don't actually see the weights. Am I blind? Oh, there it is. Yeah, we'll get another one of the super lightweight ones. See if that does any better for this. Okay, that's optimal. Perfect. Alright, well, we got three feeder rods now. We're completely broke, but we've got plenty of, uh... Shiner still and it doesn't cost to travel to here, so We should be good. Oh my gosh hollow. <laughs> Let me know <laughs> Wow
Hey Hayden, how's it going, man? We are playing Fisher Online. Yeah, there is fly fishing. That was actually one of the reasons I purchased the game. I want to get up to the point where I can actually do the fly fishing. Oh my gosh, Caitlin. Not you too. Oh my gosh, hello. Hey Kurt, how's it going, man? How have you been? Oh wow, DeAndre. Yeah, that's uh that's probably a problem. Um, I'm not sure, Cohen. I haven't really looked too uh, far into like what the different locations are. Did the anchor go down? Yeah, it did. Oh my gosh, fish on already. My gosh, that was fast. <laughs> Already a fish. Oh, this is a brand new reel, so we gotta crank the uh, drag up. That's a white bass to start out with. Four pounds, not bad. That's what we're looking for. Now for the last one. This is the first time I've been able to fish with three feeder rods. So this is going to hopefully increase our productivity. Uh, yes, Cohen, I do uh, fish IRL. Nice, Hayden. That's awesome, dude. Alright, later Maddox. Thank you for dropping into the stream, man. Hopefully you have a good night. I've actually done a few videos on the uh, Grey Wolves before, Hannah. Yukon's just not one of my favorite maps to hunt. Yeah, Leah's in the background. Making little baby noises. Later, Maddox. Yeah, I sound a little bit different, uh, Kensley, because I just got over the Rona. Still at the very end recovering uh, from it. Almost back to normal, though. Come on. There we go. Five pounds, 13 ounces. Decent one. Oh my gosh, already! I just cast this line out. And we've already got a fish on it. Jeez. The bite is crazy right now. So what do you guys think of this game so far? Are you guys enjoying it? Personally, I think this is the most enjoyable fishing game I've played. It's a lot of fun. But I'm just curious if it's uh, fun to watch as well. Because uh, watching and playing are definitely two different things. What's my favorite animal to hunt in Call of the Wild? Definitely the red deer. Red deer have always been one of my favorites and I'm pretty sure they'll probably always be my favorite. All right, later, Cohen. Thank you for watching. Got another one on the heavy rod. 
<laughs> well, that was easy. We literally just pulled in an almost five pound white bass. Super lightning fast. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. This rod is great. I am glad that we went ahead and purchased this one. It was expensive, but I think it was well worth it. Needs dynamite. <laughs> oh, man. Oh my gosh, Hollow. Boy. Yeah, it's great, Jaden. I have been loving this game. This is pretty much what I've been playing in all of my uh, free time recently. A lot of times when I'm editing, I'll just have like all my rods out and listening for fish while I'm editing. Oh, we got another one. Got a fish on rod too as well. Okay, we might need to lower the drag slightly because that just like maxed out when we got that smallmouth up to us. Fish on rod two. Obviously hollow. Four pounds. Now we're finally getting the good fish that we've been targeting. Finally lots of bass coming in. I'm gonna recast rod one. We have yet to even get a bite on this as far as I remember. So I'd say it needs to be repositioned. There, that looks good. That should be good right there. And no, sadly, it's a PC only game. It's only on PC on Steam. Uh, from what I could see, I didn't see any uh, advertisements for like console. There we go. That's exactly what it needed was to be recast. Now we got a fish on. See if we can see what it is. Uh, it's an eel. Not exactly what we're after, but you know what? That uh, still works, I guess. Just a little three pounder. Hey, Sam, welcome back. You didn't miss too much. But we've been getting a lot of bass. Uh, we went ahead and bought a brand new feeder rod. This is uh, definitely our best one yet. It's a 55 pound rod. And then we got our 50 pound reel on there, 33 pound line. And we've been just absolutely slaying the bass ever since we got back here. Now that we got a three feeder rod set up, it's going crazy. Sadly, no, Hannah, you can't get it on Xbox. It's a PC only game. Ah, uh, that looks like a bass. Yeah, it's a white bass. Perfect. That is exactly what I'm after. Four pounds, 11 ounces. That's a good one, too. Anything close to five pounds is really good for them. Your tablet might die soon? Oh no, Johnny. <laughs> Chokes are not carp. Oh my gosh. It just never ends. Hollow's got all the fish jokes. Same, Matthew, same. Simulator games can be quite a bit of fun. Oh, I just got that, Johnny. I just now got that. I get what you were doing there. I thought you were just saying that she was making jokes about the crappy fish, but you were actually saying a bunch of crappy jokes. <laughs> I get it now. Okay. I can't believe that flew over my head. Oh, 
Oh. Rod one. Got something on the week, Rod. Let's see if we can get a good look at it. Ah, uh, definitely a bass. It looks like another white bass. I mean, this is about the time where the white bass usually bite the most, around like 5 in the morning. They're typically a fish that bites a lot around sunrise. So I guess that makes sense that we're getting a lot of them right now. Actually, wait, that's actually not a white bass. That, I believe, is a black bass, actually. Uh, we got something on rod number three. Yeah, this is a black bass. Five pounds, ten ounces, not bad. Oh, okay, that, that maxed out really fast. I might need to adjust the tension a little bit. Twelve pound channel cat, that's why it uh, maxed it out. Oh my gosh, Hollow. <laughs> you never run out. You never run out of jokes. Uh, not really, DeAndre. I'm not really uh, too into any sports, really. Not a big fan of uh, Fishing Planet, Taylor. I've played it. I think I'm like level 30 or something in it, but I, I just don't enjoy it as much. I feel like their uh, progression system is not the best. Hollow's having a whale of a time. Boy. That's a whole lot of words that I only slightly understand, but I'm going to just nod and contemplate on what makes pastas different. <laughs> okay, Sam. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will have another video up tomorrow, Hayden. I try to post videos daily. Okay, this is definitely a bass because it immediately shot over to the left. Got a beautiful sunrise popping up. Four pound, ten ounce smallmouth bass. Not bad. Solid fish. I heard one of them. Number two. There's just fish everywhere. This is like a really good morning of fishing. I'm telling you, like 5 to 6 a.m. seems to be the time for uh, fishing at this location. That's a catfish there. 11 pound blue cat. That gives a ton of XP. All right, let's start freezing some of these bigger fish. Probably just those two for now. We'll uh, see if we get any bigger ones. And then we'll toss those in. I'm uh, not a fan of uh, Fishing Planet uh, Peanuts. I've played it. I've actually played it quite a bit. A couple hundred hours into the game. But I uh, just don't like how slow their progression system is. And also the fact that I almost always find myself fishing for fish that I don't want to fish for just because they give good money. Like I've always found that in Fishing Planet I find myself just chasing the fish that give the most money and not the actual fish that I'd like to be fishing for. Because uh, most of the fish that I actually enjoy fishing for in Fishing Planet don't give good money so it's pretty much a waste of time. So that's one of the biggest things that kept me from really getting into it. Had a good one, but forgot it. That's unfortunate, Sam. Another one. This has just been like the best. 
The best fishing that we've had all day. That's a good bass, too. That's a nice white bass. That's a really big one, actually. That's a chunky one. Five pounds. Not bad. Always nice to break five pounds with these guys. And we just leveled up to level 16. Even better. I'm going to recast Rod 1 because, once again, it's uh, not had a bite in a while. Number two again. Number two and three have been popping off. Which I suppose that's actually a good thing because these are my two best rods. So it is good that they're getting the most bites. That is a black bass right there. Five pounds, 13 ounces. Most of the fish we've been catching have been good size. Yeah, every single one of these has been a large one, in, except for the eel and the two catfish. That's actually pretty lucky. We've had just good ones. Uh, I think, yeah, we don't really have anything else to put in there yet. Gonna need stir sturgery after these chokes. <laughs> I get it, cause sturgeon. A fish with no eyes? A fush. <laughs> okay, that one's kind of good. Nice, Remington. That's awesome, dude. Hey, Dat McGee. I uh, know I don't play Fishing Planet. Uh, it's too slow of a grind for me. They should make it so you can taxidermy the fish. That would be pretty cool. I'm actually curious what they've got planned for updates for this game. Uh, this game gets like very regular updates with it. So I'm kind of curious if they are going to ever do something like a trophy room. Uh, let, let me see what they've got. So they've got tournaments. They've got like the quests. Actually, let's check our quests. Um, yeah, nothing really too good right now. Not really any good quests from what I can see. None of these fish are ones that I'll be catching over here. So we'll just uh, ignore the quest for now. Uh, yeah, I don't really think they have... Yeah, they don't really have any trophy room. They just have the records tab, which actually that's not even for me. I think profiles where I see, uh, maybe not, maybe statistics. Yeah, I guess statistics. Although this is just for this lake, I think. And then I can check like my rating. I am currently 3613th place. Oh my gosh, guys. The amount of fish jokes is just over 9,000. My brain can't even comprehend. Uh, this game is called Fisher Online, Caleb. Uh, yes, Fady, we do have a Discord. Could one of the mods drop the Discord in the chat? I uh, know, JR. This game is just on PC. There we go. There's the Discord. The Discord times four. Nice, DeAndre. There we go. Rod number one. All right, what kind of fish are you? It's going to the left, so probably a bass. 
Yeah, my guess is it's probably a smallmouth bass, I'm gonna say. Without actually seeing anything and just basing it off the fight. That looks like I might have been wrong. That actually looks like a white bass. Oh, no. Maybe I was right. That actually might be a smallie. Uh, maybe a black bass? I, honestly, I can't tell. I gotta get it out of the water. It was a black bass. So I was wrong and wrong. Yeah, we've got a really nice keep net going right now. Looking good. Nice, Miggy. I think one of the biggest problems for me with Fishing Planet is because I mainly do call the wild content, I don't have a lot of time to do other games. And so for me, it would take a lot longer to grind up. Because I have to mainly focus on doing Call of the Wild stuff because that's what the channel was built off of. But I'm sure if I had more time to do it, I could probably grind Fishing Planet up pretty quickly. But I just don't really have the time. I only have like a couple hours a day to do other uh, games. I'm glad to hear that, Luke. That is awesome to hear. Oh, number three. Oh my gosh, that thing is just shooting to the left. It's a white bass. That explains it. Only a two pounder. Oh, that is tiny. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is actually amazing that they have these physics in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's amazing. That is hilarious. I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know you could actually do that. Oh, that's great. Ah, uh, yes, you can get a great one more than once. It's a random spawn just like diamonds are. It's just a much more rare random spawn. Uh, yes, Caleb, I do fish IRL. Oh my gosh, Sam. Just killed an albino Rocky Mountain Elk in Call of the Wild. Nice, dude. Those are rare. Never killed a uh, albino bull myself. I think I've killed like one or two albino cows, but never found an albino bull. They're so rare. That's a pretty decent fish, I think. Uh, it could just be because it's our weakest rod, but... Ah, yeah, it's just an average size black bass. Actually, below average, four pounds, wow. That is a small male. So we got 15 fish there. Oh my gosh, Blitz just got a trophy. Trophy yellow perch, one pound, 15 ounces. That is a big male. That is a giant. Okay, this is definitely a catfish. And a small one at that. Oh yeah, that's a tiny catfish. <laughs> Four pounds, wow.
Hey, Mean Blocks, how's it going, man? Is chat fishy? Ah, oh, the fish jokes, man. Uh, no, I haven't, CK. I haven't played it because it's basically just a reskin of the last two games they released. So I have not played it, no. It's basically just a reskin of Fishing Sim World and, uh, Carp... What, whatever Dovetail Games Carp Fishing game was. I, I pretty much stopped supporting their games because they pretty much just recycled the same game over and over again and just kind of changed the species. This is going swimmingly. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what the purple tags mean. I mean, the only thing that I can think of is that it's got to be like some kind of like maybe a tag on the fish because like in real life, you can catch tagged fish and then you report them to like your local uh, uh, fish hatchery or whatever, uh, whatever you have in your state. Forgot the name of it. I know here in Oregon, I think it's like the uh, ODFW, the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife. But I don't know what it would be in other states. But here, like, you can, there's certain fish that'll be tagged that you can report there. You're not supposed to eat the tag. I mean, yeah, probably not a good idea. Thank you, Colt. I'm glad that you enjoy the content. Oh, really, Hunter Fisher? Interesting. What's my favorite video? That is a very difficult question to answer because I probably watched thousands of videos. Oh my gosh, Hollow. Oi. I can't handle it anymore. There's too many of them. Yeah, the bite's definitely slowing down. Not uh, getting nearly as many fish now. So I think it's probably time to go sell our fish and uh, call it a day. Honestly, we had some pretty good luck though. We had a really good streak. We were getting lots and lots of fish for a little bit there. Oh my gosh, Johnny. <laughs> ah. What fish am I going for? So we were mainly going for uh, black bass, smallmouth bass, and white bass. Because they gave a good amount of money for their size. And so that's what we were targeting. Oh, what's my favorite video on the channel? Ah, oh, man, that's difficult too. Uh, believe it or not, I I don't even remember half the videos that I make. When you make a video every single day, it's pretty difficult to remember all of them. And so to be honest, I don't even remember most of my videos that I've made. All right, let's just uh, sell our fish real quick or sell the ones in the boat Only got 50 worth in there uh, We should get probably three or four hundred for these actually probably more we got a lot of fish. I'm gonna say 600 ah, 521 not bad Seconds is back up to 586. We at least have a little bit of wiggle room now. Uh, let's buy some more shiners 
We'll buy 50 shiners. Now we got 142. Nice. Alright, well. Probably going to call it a night there, guys. I appreciate everybody dropping in, though. It was quite a bit of fun to uh, stream Fisher Online. Really been into this game recently, and I'm glad that you guys enjoyed watching it. It uh, was quite a bit of fun. Definitely enjoyed streaming it. Uh, we'll be back in, not tomorrow, but the day after for another live stream. Uh, there will be a The Hunter Classic video tomorrow, though. So if you guys have been uh, looking for some more classic videos, that's going to be going up tomorrow. And uh, yeah, until the next stream, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all the support, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!